All right, guys, and welcome to the future of pit bike racing. The first electric pit bike to come to the UK. So today here at Ella Park, while we're riding at the BNB Championship, I'm going to do a few practice sessions on this bike, see what it's like to ride an electric pit bike. First one I've ever done. Obviously, no gears. Um, it's kind of like riding a big mini moto, really. So look forward to seeing what it's like. Bit of information before we go out. Um, this bike is kind of the equivalent to a, a 125 pit bike. It hasn't really got the power of a 140 or 160, but I'll soon find that out when I go out there. For this one, which is the entry level one, is £5,199. That is without shipping. Also get the bigger battery and voltage version for £6,500. So they're definitely not cheap, but new futuristic things, new technology, it always starts off more expensive. Speed of this one is 85 kilometers an hour. Top speed of the more expensive six and a half grand one, six and a half thousand pounds one is 90 kilometers an hour.
guys, hopefully you can hear me over all the engines and generators. Done the two sessions on the Thunderbolt uh, electric pit bike. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it's really surprised me on how good the bike is. It handles amazingly. I can't tell the difference between mine and this electric pit bike. It handles really well. It hasn't got the speed, I'm not going to lie. Off the turns, it's amazing. As you can expect with electric, the power is just instant. But top speed, it just hasn't got it. It got told it was the equivalent of a 125. I would probably more put it as the equivalent of a 110. But yeah, really enjoyed it. You Having no sound, you really realise how loud your knee sliders are when you're going round the corners. Um, but as a first attempt at an electric pit bike, really impressed. Obviously, it's early technology and it's always going to get a lot better. Like I said, it is a really expensive outlay. £5,199 for this model. But technology is going to get better and they're going to get cheaper, like everything. So, how I can describe it, I wouldn't swap this for my petrol pit bike at the moment. And to be honest with you, I'm not a fan of not having any sound at racetracks. But, as we know, pit biking gets a bad rep for noise and things like that. So this is going to open up a lot of tracks that we could never go to before. Other things you have to take in consideration, indoor tracks. What a weapon this would be at an indoor track. No fumes, no noise. It would be awesome. So you've got to look at that as well. As running these as a race championship, I think you can't really put these out with petrol, normal pit bikes they would have to have their own electric pit bike class. <coughs> a massive thank you to Parker Racing for letting me take this bike out for a few sessions today. I've really enjoyed it, even though it is a bit cold here at Ella today, but it's been mega fun. If you're interested in one of these bikes, get in contact with Aaron Parker and he can sort you out. So cheers guys for watching the video. Don't forget, go and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again for some more pit bike vlogs. Bye-bye.